Welcome back to another episode at NFR Podcast. And for today, as you guys could see, we have the boys from Detroit, Graydon, Riley, Hive Mind, NFR Podcast. Today, we're going to be playing a music quiz with Habanero Peppers. If you guys are familiar with the podcast, you guys know that Lou and I do these all the time. So we said the boys are going to be coming into our world this time. Absolutely. And we're going to have a good time in Montreal. How are you guys doing? Great. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Brace yourselves, gentlemen, because this is not going to be pretty whatsoever. Hopefully, you guys are the ones ingesting them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see what ends up happening. But the way it's going to work today, guys, we have this wheel. We're going to spin it for every single round. There's seven different rounds. Whoever has the most points by the end of all seven rounds ends up taking it. We have guessed the song based on the lyrics, guessed the album based on the images, and so much more. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. So we get into it. Yeah. Absolutely. Today, come on. Today Let's it's me it. and Lou. It's me, yeah. Versus Ant and Graydon. Last yeah. time we did we're a good job on our draft, yeah. though. We did a good job. Yeah. But it's okay. It doesn't mean we're friends now for this one. So yeah. let's see how this works. Sworn enemies. All right. So you guys want to take the wheel first? We'll take the wheel okay, first. Spin. Let's do it. What we get? Amazon wheel. We get Spotify. So that's guess the rapper based on their Spotify description. Okay. What do you guys have for us? All right. Let's go through this. So. Guess the rapper based on the Spotify description. Part one. It's going to be three different parts. You guys are going to have a chance to guess after each one. Yes. First part. Before X rapper became the internet heartthrob with delectable deliveries and streams in the multi-millions, he was just a kid born in the Bronx with an equal love for Jay-Z bars and Justin Bieber songs. Justin Bieber songs Justin and Jay-Z bars. Bieber's the Bronx. The Bronx. Um, okay. That's interesting. Anything off the we, we know it's a male rapper, right? We, we, he said he, from what I remember. He said, I said X rapper. X rapper. I said X rapper. I think you also said he. Because I could see Cardi B being into like Justin Bieber and Jay Z. But to me, it sounds like, I don't know, it kind of sounds like Lil Tecca or something. Is he from the Bronx? I, think, I know he's from New York. Yeah. I don't know where though. Um, what do you want to go with the first guess? I'll let you take this. Okay, let's, let's do Cardi B on the first guess. That is absolutely false. Part two. Okay. Go for this one. Read the first sentence you see here. His mother's favorite artist, Usher Michael Jackson, taught him melody. The fuck does that tell us, man? It, his, mo did. his mother's listening habits? Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. You got something? Is it Lil TJ? It is Lil TJ. Yeah, 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 let's, go, Riley. Riley. let's go. Let's so get see, it. I, I'm, Lou's going to start complaining. This is the way the game goes. But Riley was a good sport on this one. So guys, go for it. Right. The first question, Riley, eat a pepper. Wait, no, 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 no. This is how it works. No, 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 no. At the end. Okay. Of it. So Wait, first, wants to see him die this episode. Oh, so we do the we do the same question. Absolutely, yes, sir. Ah, Absolutely. All right. The first one is: After graduating high school, Blank joined the military, deploying to different parts of the world. Uh, yeah, I think I yes. JPEG Mafia. It is JPEG. It is JPEG. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we made it easy enough. <laughs> that, that was. Come on. Thank that, you. That, that, you, you should have waited at least to like the end for that. One. Thank That's you, too Peggy. easy as a first part. You see, you thought I was going to be hard on you. I'm making this as fair as could be. Yes. Okay. All right. Fine. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> Let's Next spin one. this bad boy. One one. What do we get? Good. Guess which album based on the images. Okay, very interesting. Okay. So, so you guys start this off once we again. We start this off, okay? So you basically ours. selected images that like represent the album, right? Absolutely. Okay. So this is what it's going to be for today. Got Just it. so you know what we're speaking about. Mm -hmm. Please don't say all these things. Trying to get me scared, eh? <laughs> okay, so let's keep going on with this. The first image for today is a picture of Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill, Bill Gates. Gates. Yeah. Billy. Rich guy. Super rich. rich. Guy. He is a billionaire. Uh -huh. um, Billy Gates. What can we say about Bill Gates? He's old. Uh -huh. Microsoft. He's old man. Microsoft. Yes. Microsoft. Uh -huh. Yeah. Soft micro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Billy Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Okay. I mean, vaccines. I'm going to go into the next yeah, one. You guys that, need context. That, that, I don't think you we guys can really need guess context. Off yeah, of that. you guys need context. This is a picture of New Year's Eve in 2012. Well, technically New Year's Day now because the ball popped. Why are you emphasizing? Hey, he's, <laughs> oh, he's, right. he's emphasizing 2012 here. Yes. Totally. Okay. 2012, Billy Gates. Bill mm. Gates, 2012. The ball popped that year, didn't drop. <laughs> um, exploded. <laughs> Give him the next yeah. image. Um, next image is a picture of Kobe Bryant playing basketball with an arm sleeve. With an arm sleeve. With an arm sleeve. He always throws in these details that have like no relation to the album whatsoever. Right. So I don't know if I would with, harp with the on that white, fucking sleeve. With the white arm yeah, sleeve. It looks like there's sleeve. people in the background too. The stadium is full. Spalding ball, number 24. <laughs> mm. Number 24. Yellow and purple. He's throwing us off with those. Um, okay, basketball, Kobe, Bill Gates, 2012. 
Oh is man, that Dallas, bro, I'm fucking blanking hard. Okay, I'll go for the next one. Is this that is our the last one? This is the image. last one. Oh, hold on, I saved it a bit over here. My bad. This is a picture of Patrick Mahomes for the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs quarterback. Quarterback headband number fifteen. Mm-hmm. Red jersey. Look at the little towel he has there too. It's a nice it's little all fucking towel. sports references with. Was he playing in 2012? No. No, he was not. Oh, he was not. All right, guys, the jig is up. Go for it. What do you guys got? Man, I can't even think of a single <laughs> fucking possible guess. <laughs> 2012, Kobe. Um, Sheesh. Anything? Okay. You got to go for it. Um, Let's go with... Hmm. Is it 2012? like Watch the Throne? Or something? No, that was like, 2011. That was 2011, but I'm just like, I'm thinking 2012, of 2012, like, what'd you have? You had like Rap Music by Killer Mike. You had GKMC. I'm trying to like circle through those albums that came out that year. Um, What else did you have? 2012. All right, let's go, bro. Let's get this going. I got nothing, bro. What are you saying? Give me an answer. We're throwing in the white towel, but we have absolutely nothing. This is finally Rich by Chief Keef. So, ah. Chief Keef, Kansas City Chiefs. The song mm. Kobe. Off That's the album we were playing it on yeah. the car yesterday. No, it's not that bad. It dropped on January 1st, 2012. And Bill Gates finally rich. Mm-hmm. There we go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there we that go. was good, though. Yes! I respect That's it. fair. That's fair. Okay, we I got our first it. L. It's okay. I respect it. Okay, the first image that we have for you guys is the real-life Super Mario. Real-life Super Ugh. Mario? Yeah. I know, uh, right? he's, he's not a good-looking man, is he? I, I don't like that at all. Looks like a plumber, I guess, though. He does. That was he his former indeed. occupation. Would you call this guy to clean your pipes? No, but I would buy shrooms off of him. He looks good. I know cool. he's got tons of those. Yeah. yeah. The stash is crazy, though. How do you even... The stash is on point. Look at this. How do you upkeep that? Chris Pratt is really wow. falling off. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they made him look like that. <laughs> yeah. Was this okay, guy okay. Italian? Or did they be like... Because Chris Pratt, they did like They're a... They're trying to distract ah, whatever. Yeah. They're yeah. trying to distract. Okay. What's Mario, any, any guess for this? Um, Mario Judah is the only thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> Mario Judah? Not Mario Judah. Okay. The next image for you guys is a picture of basketball player Nikola Jokic in Serbia Mm -hmm. cruising with his horse. Yes. He's a big horse guy. He is a big horse guy, and he's not a big basketball guy. He'd rather be at home with his horses. He just wants to go. go. Fuck the parades, all of that. Doesn't matter. Do you see him drunk at the parade, though? He made a mess. He's (laughs) like, I want to be at parade now. (laughs) He said, I want to be here forever. (laughs) He said, I'll never forget this my whole life. (laughs) Any guess? I I have to go home. (laughs) Okay, wait, so... Just to put like shit into context, you gave me a picture of Super Mario and Nikola and Jokic. Uh, Nikola Jokic. So we have the MVP, former MVP, recent NBA champion Nikola Jokic, and we have Nintendo's Mario. Yes. Nintendo's Should be obvious. Mario. All right, let's keep going. Let's All keep right, going. Let's the keep third going. image is going to be Jason Momoa <sighs> rock climbing. Okay. And this one's just Aquaman to get you guys himself. riled up. Yeah. This one's just to get Aquaman you guys riled himself up. rock climbing. Yeah. He okay. looks really good, right? He does. ASAP Rocky? But that's not a fucking album. Oh, uh, sure. We're doing this on the album. <laughs> no. Super Mario Horses Sexy Guy Rock Climbing. Rock Climbing, yeah. Oh, gosh. Rock Climbing. Anything off of this. No, we're good. What are the fourth going? image? Fourth image, fourth image. We have a nice spring day here. Cherry Blossoms. Are those important? Maybe. It's a nice day. It's a nice spring day. That's all I could say. Uh... Uh, wow, this is this is this one's tough. I have no idea, man. I'm actually like blanking out completely. If you have something like, uh, to take a trip, trippy red. No, it's what not is take a trip. What is it? Yeah, Any guess at all? Any guess at all? I'll give you one more. Let's say it's our clueless and it's just like rubbed off on them. I love it. Come home, the it. kids miss you. I guess I don't it's know. Nothing. So it is the off season by J Cole. You had the Super Mario Bar, which is iconic from that album. You had Nikola Jokic on his off season. You had, of course. <laughs> Rock climbing for the climb back, which is a song title off oh, of the off season. Come on. Come on. And then you have a this spring guy, day, which is a season. So spring cheesy, for the season. Oh, come on this now. This guy is so cheap. I guarantee bro. you everyone in the comments got that. No, come on now. There's no Absolutely. <laughs> I forgot. Ryan didn't approve of I this forgot one. halfway through. I was like, I don't know which one, which album this is. I don't even know. You're right. Jeez, bro. All right, so we both took our first L in round two. Who checked these quizzes out here, bro? What's going on? The whole on? team. The whole team checked them out. Bro. What's going no on? no complaints. Spin the wheel, Ant. Let's get back to it. And we got the emojis. Okay. All right. Let's guess the album based on the emojis. Two album ones back to back. So? This one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to put this in my notes just so I could extend it for you. I know you're a bit blind, so... Hold on a I second. I am indeed blind. Let me just do this for you guys. Boom. I'm trying to get that LASIK. Hold on. 
Because you got to format it properly. No. Okay, oh, I guess you guys can. Yeah. I guess you guys could see that. Oh, yeah, you might have to crop, crop that. So that yeah. 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 Okay, let's do this, all right? So I start this off? Sure. Start it off. All right. So, Raiden, this is the album. There we go. Right over here at the bottom. <laughs> let's see if they end up getting this. So, the first emoji is a car tire. The second emoji is a roll of toilet paper. And the third emoji is a silver medal. What the fuck? Silver medal. Silver medal. Car tire, toilet paper, silver medal. Take your guess. Okay, so it's going to be something with the second, I believe. Second, right? Because of the silver medal. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's a sequel. Sequel to an album. Could that be? Okay, and then we got tire. And paper. Paper. Wheels. Something with wheels. Tires. Or tired. Tired. It could play into the title. Could be playing into songs like you paper. guys do. Could be playing into something. Um, tired of shit. <laughs> Dude. I'm tired of shit too. No, um, sir. Could it be? I'm thinking maybe Victory Lab, Nipsey Hustle, because you got like the tire, you got the medal that you would get after winning a race. I don't know if that's a bit of a reach though. Mm. What would be the paper then? The toilet paper. That's a good fucking point. Yeah. Um, that's sort of the the curveball in this. Hmm. All right, guys. So tired. a bunch of moans. Are you guys gonna like throw out something? Let's go. Come on. <laughs> tired. Car. Car <laughs> shit. Car shit too. Two, uh, two shit cars. Wait, uh, I thought cars too was shit. Car too, right? paper. Tired. Man, what? Tired. Oh my god. We got him right where we left. It's fine. I feel great, by the way. Thanks. No problem. I, I'm fucking blanking out again. Yeah. Anything? Holy is... shit. Okay, so can I Wait officially fucking answer this question? How about that? I, I could do that? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, this is Rolling Papers 2, actually, by Wiz Khalifa. You guys are out of it. The, what does a wheel do? It rolls? It rolls. Paper yeah. oh, 2. Are God. you serious? Yeah. So it's, it's, literally, literally it's, emojis, in the, it's literally in the emojis. I can't help you more than that. Yeah, yeah. Hey. This guy's complaining when he's giving me, like, like song titles on albums. Like, Riley loves Wiz, too. I'm surprised you didn't get it. Yeah, All right, well. let's move on to ours. This I is much it? fucking easier. So we have... We got a superhero, we got a snail, we got the snake, and the crystal ball. Crystal ball, snake. Snake makes me think YSL stuff. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that's that's there for sure for a reason. Lou never like spells out, what you have to understand about Lou's tactics is that he'll never spell out like the album title for you. He's not yeah. a good guy like that. What he'll do is like he'll try and like jip his way around it so he doesn't have to eat these. <laughs> Um, <laughs> heroes and villains comes to mind too, but I don't know just because the superhero. Yeah, I don't, snail's a I'm villain. not. I'm not sure about that one. A snail uh, is slow. We know that. We know the snail is slow. <laughs> but I don't know if he's that slow. Is it that? Sli- is that? It's is, it's definitely why it's there. I feel like it is like it, something is going on that's slow. Maybe it slows. That the slow title. snake. The crystal ball is the future, so maybe future's involved in the project. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, superhero. Slow... Sheesh, I don't know. Okay, what's a guess, guys? Come on. I kind of like heroes and villains, but I don't know. The snail. No, he's not going to be that nice with me today. That's for sure. <laughs> There's no way he brought in heroes and villains. Possibly. Do future and young. Thug Imagine it is heroes project. and villains and you just left it out, though. Who knows? Who knows? All right, I'll guess heroes and villains. It is not Heroes and Villains. Ah, <laughs> and you should have listened to Graydon. Yeah, Graydon was onto something. Guy. It is super slimy. Oh, yeah, yeah, super yeah. slimy, Young Thug in the Future. You have the I, superhero. Yes, you're you right at the end. You have, <laughs> have, listen, this is fair. Come on. You have the snail that's slimy, they of course. Are slimy. Young Thug in Future. It's their symbols. Is that not fair? That is fair. Yeah. That's fair. Thank I had you, him. Hey, hey, I will Thank say you. I had him add the crystal ball because I said there was only the snake at first and I was like, add the future. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. Riley just completes it, bro. Always. We complete it. What score are we at right now? We are at 1-1 one, one, one a piece. And one, that was the piece. third round. Time to go into round four. All right, let's see what let's happens. Let's spin this bad boy. What do we got? Uh, player's choice. Oh. Okay, what player's choice. Ooh, so what what we, we get to, do? to play. So yes. We're going to choose um, one of these. Let's there's true or false that's looking good. Let's do, let's do song titles. Do song titles? I like the song titles one. Okay. I like Guess okay. the Rapper from the song title. All right. What do we think? Yeah, fine. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's do so that. you want me to go for it first? Let's go for it first. Okay, fine. So one at a time? Yes, sir. I want you to read out. Don't read what's in parentheses over here. Got Just it. read what these song titles are. Just read right. one, though, right? One at a time? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. First song title is Cody Banks. Cody Banks. Ooh, oh, so Secret Agent Cody Banks, Frankie Munez. Mm-hmm. Great role. Maybe Disney it's a defining role. Frankie um, made a lot of money, actually. 
God. Cody Banks. It's driving NASCAR now. Hmm. It's pretty sick, actually. It is That's sick. a career. That's a career. Cody. I definitely know that song title, but yeah. I, I can't think. Malcolm is indeed in the middle. Let's go to the second one. I'm, we should take a guess here, though. Cody Banks. Um, I think more of a new school rapper, for sure. Someone that would have watched... I'm gonna give Cody you the Banks. second one. Wait, no, we have to take our guess, right? Because we're entitled to three guesses, one per, uh, one per round. Um, Cody Banks, who would do that? Just so weird. Maybe a boogie with the hoodie. What do you think? Yeah, go for it. A boogie with the hoodie. Eh. <clears throat> Sorry. So <laughs> all that, like all that extra stuff, just to like have a wrong guess. Go on to the second one over here. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. It's not Dark Knight, Dumbo. No. Right? It's Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. And it's hmm. spelled like the movie. Correct. Like that is correct. The Royal Knight. Dark Knight. I don't know, is it Big Sean? That is incorrect. <laughs> right, this last one really got a debate on this. Yeah. This is all for all the marbles. There we go. Last song title. Love is Dro. Love is Dro? Mmm. I'm thinking of someone like super quirky like song titles, maybe like a young nudie. See, I was thinking it's like early 2010s, like it's got to be like a weed rapper. You think so? Yeah. I don't like, know. Like, like a whiz, is, I maybe? I don't want to hint the other team too much, but early 2010s, when did Dark Knight come out? You know, you got to remember that. Yeah, ah, Dark Knight true. came out in, I think, late 2000s, right? It was 08 or 09. Might be a title track to something. I don't know. Oh, could be a poem that the movie's based on. Yeah, you're right. Could be, could, could be something. Could be like this crazy like fan lore. I don't know. Should we go Wiz or should we go Young Nudie? I don't think it's Nudie though. You're you're close, oh, but those man. ones you're close. Really? I can't tell. That's supposed to be like a throw off. Uh, yeah, I think you're that's. Trying a... to, you're trying to <laughs> do the whole. <laughs> trying to be a smart <laughs> ass, aren't you? <laughs> All right. What is it? Third and final guess. Okay. I'm waiting Third on you guys. Guess. Don't wait on me. You know. I'm just trying to help you. Guys I don't think it's Wiz or Nudie. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It's close though. Um. <laughs> yes, collaboration albums are both of them. With both of them? No, he doesn't. Okay, right, right there. No, he's bullshitting because <laughs> Young Nudie and Wiz Khalifa not collab with the same person for a whole fucking album. Um, yeah, that's Dro. what you think. I'm not sure. Young Dro, um, what do you want to do? I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. You want to you want to try uh, currency? Maybe I don't know. Go for okay, it. Okay, currency. Cur no, that was wrong. <laughs> that was Jack Harlow. This is actually Jack, Jack Harlow. Oh. What did you choose songs from like fucking 2013? I knew that would. Thank you. This was going to happen. He was going to try and say, oh, I went back in his old catalog. Love is Joel's on That's What They All Say. And you've said on multiple occasions how he actually enjoys oh, the fuck. album. Oh, fuck. <laughs> then the other one, Dark Knight is on Gazebo. And then the first one, Cody Banks, was on Loose. That was fair. That was fair. No kidding. Not right. fair to me because I never listened to any of that. I only no? listened to, uh, I listened to the I don't know, Come Home weird. Kids Miss You. That's my favorite one. Yeah. Come Home Perfect kids. album, actually. 10 out of 10. Like a blade of grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guess the rapper based on their song title. Let's go for the first one. All right. King James. King James. Okay, so he has, a bit, he has to be a bit cheesy. That's for sure. A cheesy rapper? A bit of a cheeser. Are you saying LeBron James is cheesy? No, it's just that, like, it's I don't know. like I feel, Yeah, it's like a cheesy title, sure. you know? Like maybe um, like a 2K song. King James. So many rappers name songs after like basketball players. I don't want to hear you bro. right now. I just don't want to hear you. Uh, King James. That take makes you the cornball. We honest. have... I Like he has to make something triumphant. That's for yes. sure. That's for sure. King James. King James. I'm thinking... Uh, can I take a guess? Take Please. Joyner Lucas? Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. Keep well, in mind, by the way, it doesn't have to be King James LeBron. It could be the King James Bible. So, I guess. Okay, the second song title is Miss Wright. Miss Wright. So we got a lover boy. Miss Wright. Might even be a certified lover boy. Maybe. Maybe. King James. I want to know the date of these projects, by the way, after you say that. Um, let's do... Do you have anything? I'll, I'll let you guess this round. I feel Miss like... Miss Wright it... and King James. Miss Wright, King James. Oh, uh, yeah. Show me Drake. It is not Drake. The all third right, song right, title right. is Winner's Circle. Now that sounds familiar. Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's not familiar to you, the Winner's Circle. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah. actually a good I like guess. It, yeah. Not as of Do you right think, now. I, yeah. think I go in with That's it? triumphant. I like it. Is it Rick Ross? It is not Rick oh, Ross. Shit. It is Anderson Park. Oh, and we shit. gave you guys two songs from a recent project, being Ventura 
and then one off of Venice. Damn. Okay? Damn. Have any of us taken a W? Yes, we did. Yeah, first fucking round. First yeah, question. Yeah, first question. That was it. All, All right, right. so not. now we are into round number five. Round number five. All right. Uh-oh. This is fourth mm-hmm. quarter time. Yeah. yeah. We'll see who really can Make it or fucking in. break it. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens here. What, we got? what did we get? Player's choice again. Player's choice again. Wow. What do you guys want? I feel like uh, I want to do... Uh, I want to do monthly listeners. Okay. I want to do a monthly listeners round. Let's see. All right. The monthly so let's, listeners. Let's do the monthly listeners round. All right. So if you guys are familiar with the monthly listeners round, basically we have three different matchups, two different artists who has more monthly listeners on Spotify. Very straightforward. And we have to get two out of three correct for this one. All right. All right. First matchup. Don Tolliver versus Young Thug. Who has more monthly listeners on Spotify? Oh, Easy. What do you think it is? But before we give an official answer. Yeah. Well, I think it's Don because why would they ask that otherwise? The thing is, it's like Thugger just has the catalog. He has more hits. When you look at Don, I do think what he's done on like the Metro Boomin project definitely boosted them the fuck up. Let's go Don Tolliver, right? I think it's Don. Let's do Don Tolliver. By the way, guys, you have to get two out of the three to pass this round. And they are 0 for 1 right now because it is actually Young Thug. 30 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Don Tolliver has 29. It's not a good start, boys. Let's go right to the next so. one. Was that updated for today? Because I was going to say, that's close enough. I feel like it's <laughs> worth checking. But. Absolutely. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's updated for this It's week. all refreshed. So. It's all, right. all good. It's all good. Sad. Fine. Next okay. matchup. Read this one for me right here. Got you. It's Vince Staples versus Destroy Lonely. Who has more Ooh. monthly listeners on Spotify? That's a great pick. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Well. Two totally different rappers. Um... Lonely doesn't get that many streams, though. He he did recently. He sold very well on his new album. And did. it did just come out, like, a month ago. I think, like, his most streamed song is, like, No Stylist, which has, like, 50 mil around. I think it has more than that now. But I know that um, the new the new project did very well. He sold more than... Mm, but Vince has been around a while, but I just... Yeah. I feel like I want to lean towards Vince just because it's just not the obvious answer. Man. What are you saying? You're feeling low, aren't you? You guys got to get this one. We got to get this one. I know. Right? It's, it's a make or break, and that's yeah. why I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just letting you. You pick. Uh, you want to go with Vinny? No. Let's, let's go with our cousin Vinny, no? No. Let's go with Vince. No, let's go Vince. Let's go Vince. Let's go Lone. Let's go Vince. <laughs> so, what are you, you guys going with? Vince. Um... <laughs> Final one. Ooh, you, you got to pick. It's you. We're going Vince. It is Vince oh, Staples yes, with 5 million oh, monthly oh, listeners on Spotify. Okay. Destroy Lonely has 3.4. Well, he's Last one for today. So, yeah, we got to get this. Yeah. You guys have to get this one. Playboy Cardi versus Offset. Who has more monthly listeners on Spotify? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. This is a bad trip. Wow. <laughs> oh. 50 50 chance, guys. It's not that big of a deal. Just shoot. Um. Okay. Okay, I feel like they want us to say Cardi. Yeah, because Offset isn't just a solo artist, and so obviously, you know, I don't know, though. His streams are Offset by the Migos. Exactly. Um, Cardi does have that new song with The Weeknd and Madonna. What he does. Me? What you top top of her? <laughs> yeah, got that. Whatever that was. Um, <laughs> Whole lot of Red is, like, getting streamed every fucking day. Oh, man. But I feel like that's I can't like I can't tell if it's a trick or a double trick. I can't tell if it's a yeah, trick like oh like an offset really has more than Cardi or if it's like the double trick of like they would obviously pick offset. Okay, you know what? I put all my faith in you. Previous round, you gotta put all your faith in me. Actually, no, vice Other versa. Yeah, I'm putting all my faith Weird in tactics, you. I wouldn't do that. I don't even have faith in myself. Um, that's not what I want to hear from a partner. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Fuck. Um, what are you saying? What's your heart telling you? Not your head, but your heart. My heart is telling me that Cardi has more. But my head's telling me Offset. Yeah. Take your guess, guys. Take your guess. This is all you. Offset. That is absolutely false. It is Playboy Cardi with 27 million (laughs) monthly listeners. Offset has 22 Gotta Shit. listen to your heart, all right. savage. Well, I know, but oh, this has got me all messed up. All right. All right, let's go. 
The first one for you guys is going to be Central C versus Childish Gambino. Who has more monthly listeners? I think it's a lock on Central C for sure. I think so too. Central C. Central C, and that is an incorrect answer. Childish Gambino has 23.7 million. Central C, 23.4. Oh, updated. Someone so streamed. Cheesy. All right, you guys got to go perfect. so cheesy. It's actually Read out the second stupid. one, please. Right How do here. you guys allow these things? He's doing it to the decimal, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> who said that's awful fucking bro, rule, bro? Come There's on, always, bro. This guy is always a complaint with that. Guys, he can never accept an owl with a smile on his face. Okay, anyways. All right. Jack Harlow or Cardi B? More monthly listeners. Jack dropped more recently, but Cardi is like a mega star. Actually, I I recently did a Who Has More Monthly Listeners on TikTok, and I know what Jackamo has. Now, the question is, is that does she have more than Jack? What does Jack have? (laughs) Jack's around, like, I think, like, that 58 to 60 yeah. range. Like, I'm more or less old. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck, man. They're both so <sighs> hot, too. I want to go Jack. I want to go Jack Carlo. I want to go Jack. I want to go Jack. I really want to go if Jack. If we lose and we guess Jack Carlo, we kind of look double bad. You know what I mean? Like, if we lose and we guess Cardi sometimes, B, at sometimes least Sometimes you be just, like, you fuck. have to do it sometimes. You have to do it sometimes. I love you, Ant. We're going to go with Jack. We're going to go with Jack Carlo. It is indeed Jack Carlo. Yes, sir! 30. Oh, yes, sir! Not 50 or 60. 30.6 million and Cardi B at 29.9 million. Wow. That was off, but... All so right, the like, last like, matchup is going to be Bia versus Fabio Four, and who has more monthly listeners? Oh, it's got to be Bia. I feel like Lou's bringing in a trick for this last one. I smell it in his breath. Um, Bia or Fabio Four, and... What is what is, Fabio? What's the trick? Like he wants me to, I know, I know he wants me to go for Bia. I know he wants me to go for Bia. That's for sure. But see, I, I guess that's for sure. If I had to do my own, like I listen to more Fabio songs. It's that's... just that, like you also have to think about it. Like he has off the grid and contention over there too. Like he has, like he has some big songs that are like streaming well. Off my... the grid is not even li- is he even listed on that song. I wonder, do those streams even count? No. I'm not sure. Yes, Maybe. they do. Yeah, absolutely. They do Constantly. for that. Yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. Okay. I thought with Travis and that's why J- That's why J.I.D. had a crazy amount My... of monthly listeners was because the... It's true, the Imagine Dragon. The Imagine Dragon. Which was also build yeah. on that. Yeah, but it's build. Right? And Kanye yeah. doesn't build, build his features. I think so. I think it was on his profile, though. For, on Apple Music, it's there yeah. anyways. And if, gut... catch, if you catch the trend, they're all like decimals off. All three of these matchups. Yeah. So. My gut told me be off rip. I'll let you go for it. Oh, fuck. I, tra- I trust you. Listen, you know right, what? Show me Bia. Bia. And what the correct that? answer is Fabio Foran, who has more 7.9 million. Bia had 7.4. Incorrect. I let you down, man. That's okay. That's <laughs> okay. fine. That's We're fine. now going into round six. The score is still tied <laughs> one at 1-1. One one. One. No one's making any fucking headway. Now is the time, boys. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Whose spin is it? Yours. It's mine. Yeah. You want to do this one? I can smell yeah. the peppers. All right, here we go. All right. True or false? Another one where we have to get two out of three correct. What do you have for us? All right, let's do this. Let's go. Great, and I'm going to let you read these out. So, obviously, you don't read the answer out, but one, two, three. Start off with the first one. All right. First one is Metro Boomin's Creepin' has over 500 million streams. True or false? It's pretty recent, but it is a fucking massive song. I feel like it's either in the 400s or 500s. I believe it has more than 500 because we did a game recently mm. guessing Metro's most streamed songs of all time. And I was up there, right? And it was it was like number seven or eight. Like but ever. you don't remember the number? I don't, but I, I believe it is over that. Okay. I think it's like, it is really up there. So the question was, does it have over 500? Yes. So we're going to say true to that? The doubt is real. I think so, man. I think so. True. It is true. It yes, has sir. 758 yes, million streams on Spotify. Second one, again, same thing applies for this round. Two out of three is a pass. Future has nine studio albums. True or false? Okay. Nine exactly or yeah. over nine? Nine exactly. Let's count these, okay? We have I Never Liked You. That was 2022. Going backwards from that, we have um, High Off Life. High Off Life. We have The Wizard. Mm. Then we had Future and Hendrix. That's five. DS2 was not a studio album. That was a mixtape, I believe. Or was it a studio album? I believe it counted as a studio album. Wait, do his collab albums count? No, I don't think they count. Okay, right. How, how okay, wait, are we not we, supposed we, to We had five that were that. locks, right? We had Hendrix, Future, The Wizard, High Off Life, I Never Liked You. I know Pluto is a studio album, that's six. 
Then we have Honest. Is, Honest is a studio album. That's seven. Is is Monster? Monster is not a studio album. That's a mixtape. Mixtape. Okay. That's seven right now. What else has he had? Well, then what a time to be alive. Evil. And, evil is evil is an album. That's eight. Evil is an album. I thought yes. that was a mixtape. Evil is an album. <laughs> But then we have what a, what a time to be alive and super doesn't count. Doesn't, he's not gonna count the class. Well, that's what I was asking. Yeah. Does it count? So we got eight right there. You said nine, right? I think he has nine. I, I can't remember about DS two though. I feel like I'm just gonna psychoanalyze. I feel like it would be smarter to get the exact number than add or subtract one, and that's the question. Better than just saying the exact number and saying true or false. So I kind of feel like also, would it be two trues in a row? Probably, right? You don't think so? I don't know. Oh, man. Um, let's do this again. Pluto. Honest. <laughs> this guy's got to recount through the... Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's what do you want to do, do true or false? I'm feeling... I'm feeling true on this. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling... False? I'm feeling false, but I just... I, I, I don't know for sure. So... All right, guys, make a case. Okay, you want to say false? We're, we're, we're going to say false? Say true. Let's say true. That is true. It yes, is true. Yes, absolutely. Oh, nine solo God. studio albums. We so, yeah, stay alive. You, yeah, you guys stay em. alive for that one. So it's officially 2-1. Let's continue going. All right. Oh. The first true or false question is this. Macklemore only has two number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. So we said he only had two that went number one. I said that he had two that went number one. I want to say false on that one. You want to say false? You think he's got more or less? I think he has more than number ones. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I just named you. You had Thrift Shop. You had that other one that you said, and then Can't Hold Us. Yeah, but I don't think the the white yeah, guy one went no. number one. There's no way. <sighs> Two kind of feels like the right number. Um, did Can't Hold Us go number one? What yeah, no, I was no, no. That that was a massive song. And Thrift Shop definitely did. Yes, absolutely. I think it's true. I think it's. Uh, oh yeah, you think it's true? I mean, can <sighs> you think of another? I hate your face, Lou. Don't look at me. <laughs> 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 um, okay, I'll, I'll give you the responsibility this oh, time. Great. It's yeah. true. You're saying that it's true, and that is correct. It is true. He has two number one hits with Can't Hold Us and Thrift Shop. Yeah. The next one, you want to read this one out? Sure. Right here. In 2011, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, The Game, and Dr. Dre passed the West Coast rap torch to a young Kendrick Lamar. What? I'll read it out again. In 2011, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, The Game, and Dr. Dre passed the West Coast Rap Tours to a young Kendrick Lamar. Is this like a physical thing? They no, this, okay, this actually happened. So basically, there was a passing of a torch at a live concert. Now, that 2011 time, that's when Dr. Dre started working with him because Overly Dedicated happened in 2010. That's not in doubt for me. The only thing I'm in doubt about is that was Warren G there. That's the only thing. Did you say Ice Cube, by the way? I said Snoop, Snoop Dogg, Warren G, The Game, and Dr. Dre. I think that's false, bro. That smells I, like cap. That, yeah. yeah, that's false. That is indeed false. Yes, sir. Bang. Yes, sir. Warren G was there. Dre wasn't there. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you guys stay alive. I feel and, like the order uh, was that's off. It. There we that's go. it. That's it. Both got one. Oh, okay. Both got Fires. it. Oh wow. Okay, so it's two two going into the last round. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're around six. six now. We're around six. We're around six. Oh, we got man. two more. So there's a little bit. There's a little bit of leeway to be had here. So you want to continue with this? Yeah. Can't Spin that wheel. What is it? Oh, got we stuck. have the... Oh, it's right in the middle. You gotta it's right. No, it's right here. Oh, it's, it's, it's leaning there. One. Yeah. That is Spotify description. We already did that, so a respin. I'll do a respin on this one. Look at these pussy spins, bro. You gotta... What is that? Into. Which one is that? Player's one? Choice. Okay, Player's Choice. Yep. Again, yeah, I'll take that one. Um, player, okay, we have to really be careful with this one. Uh, I, okay, listen. I'm not good at these. Are you good at these? Hell no. That's <laughs> the problem. Nobody wants to do the lyrics, bro. That, that's the problem. I don't, uh, I don't know destroyed. here. Okay, I say this one. This one's good. All right. All right. Wait. Guess the rap duo based on the facts. Okay. So let's do this one. I feel like we could get a good like way. Let's do this one, okay? The duo was active from 1998 to 2002, but broke up because of a feud. Of a feud, excuse me. Um, is it Clips? Is that your guess? I'm going to let you guys... Hold on. Well, do they get three guesses here? I mean, they yeah, had a feud yeah, with, they... with like their record label. They never really feuded between themselves. Um... And Hell Hath No Fury came out. I didn't say a feud between themselves. I said because of a feud. Sir, say one more time, please. The, the duo was active from 1998, 1998, excuse me, to 2002, but broke up because of a feud. That's not true because yeah. 2002 was Lord Willen. 
Mm. So it's not the clips. Um, to 2002, 98, 2002. Um, rap duo. Hmm. Interesting. Any guesses? Or I keep going. So they were only ever active for four years? I'm going to read you the thing over again. The yeah. duo was active from 1998 to 2002, but broke up because of a feud. I would suggest going on to other ones to get more Yeah, context. let's go on to the next. All right. Their group name stems from a song from one of the group members' albums. Interesting. And it is a duo. It is a duo. Hmm. I mean... I don't, I don't think it's Blackstar. Cammy Blackstar. Could it be Mob Deep? No, they started before 98. So... Oh, yeah. Um, was 98 their start year? Because you said they the were active. The duo was active from 1998 <laughs> to 2002. <laughs> Bud broke they, up because, because of, of a feud. feud. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, and the name of the group stems... From one of the members' solo albums. albums. Yeah. I'll read it again. Their group name stems from a song from one of the group members' albums. Could it be fucking Method Man and Red Man? Does that make sense? I was just going on to get more context. Okay, let's go on to the next. <laughs> they okay. only have one EP together. It has nine songs, and one of the songs is certified two times platinum. Oh, oh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, bad meets evil, right? Ninety eight to two thousand two, and then a feud. Cause then the song is an Eminem song. Oh. And okay, but a nine song EP. And they have they, they just have that EP. That's definitely that's considered an EP, right? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go with Eminem and Royce for uh, bad meets evil. That is correct. It yes. is bad meets evil. Nice catch, yeah, there bro. We go. Last People minute. People may have not known, but they disbanded in two thousand two. All right. Let's go. They sure brought some luck <laughs> yeah. today. Detroit. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's hear it. Let's do our... Okay, let's do this. Let's find these. There we go. This unofficial duo made just one album together in the 2010s decade. Unofficial duo? What does this even fucking mean, unofficial? Like, they don't have a group name? No. I'm thinking Drake and Future. One album together in the 2010s. They only have one album together. Yeah, let's just do Drake and Future. That's incorrect. Next up, we have they both received at least one Drake feature for their solo catalogs. Oh my god, bro. Like, uh, the third one is the best. Yeah, the third one's the best one. Little Baby and Gunna. Right? Little Baby and Gunna. It is Little Baby and Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, round seven, guys. This is going to be the final round. And if none of us win, we have to go to an extra bonus round. Okay. All right. Let's do the spin. Oof. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Oh, okay. oh, baby. There we go. There we this go. This is where it gets interesting. Okay. I have to start this one off, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read this one out. Please. I forgot to put it in my notes, the actual question. That's all right. Which one of these albums does not have 12 songs on them? <sighs> oh, fuck. What a <laughs> fucking stupid question. Oh, my God. Number one. Did you approve of this grade? Yeah. You would know better. by Kendrick Lamar. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Say, say that again. Sorry. Number two is Big Fish Theory by Finn Staples. <laughs> number three is K.O.D. by J. Cole. And number four is K. Tramine by K. Tramine. First one was Good Kid, Mad City. Okay, well, your partner was just screaming. Okay, just repeat the options, please. Good Kid, Mad City, Big Fish Theory, K.O.D., and K. Tramine. And we're not including bonus tracks on this, correct? I don't know. I didn't make the question. <laughs> Straight studio <laughs> albums. Okay. So, no deluxe so included. Good Kid, Mad City does F12. Yeah. Um, I, K.O.D. also... Has 12. I don't think that Big Fish Theory does. I think it has less. Okay, what was the other option besides Big Fish Theory? Keitra Mini. I don't remember. I don't remember I that just, one. Like just, it just came out. You know what? Because oh, Keitra Mini, does it have 12? Wait, does, does KOD not have 13? Yeah, KOD doesn't have 13. Um, let's see if we can go through... Let's try to go through the Kate Tremine songs. Are you familiar with the track list? No, no. Okay. not even close. You got Rebuke. You got... It's Rebuke, by the way. Whatever. Not Rebuke. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like that. Bouquet of flowers. I don't know. Um, Rebuke. You got Forever. You got West Side. You got the song with Freddie Gibbs. That's you got the song four. with Big Sean. That's five. 
Um, what else do we have on there? No, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fucking skip over that method. Okay, so you're saying Big Fish Theory you think has less? I remember K. Tremine having like 11, though. I, I mean, it's one of those two, so <laughs> it's a 50 50 yeah. chance. I just thought Big Fish Theory, I'm thinking like it's a dance album. I thought of it as shorter. It's like a half hour long, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, to me, that was like, that's not 12. We're but... going to say Big Fish Theory by Vince Staples. That is absolutely fucking false. It is K. Tremini with 11. <laughs> with 11. <laughs> With a you even said it. You said I, said I feel it. like he had eleven. <laughs> yeah, I don't went. know. I don't. I even knew the exact number of tracks I had. How to win this? <laughs> what? A All right. Like this question what a for you guys. Pointless question. Yeah. Just, whatever. You want to read this one? I think you should read this one. Yep. All right. How tall is Kanye West? A. Six foot. B. Five foot nine. C. Six foot two. Or D. Five foot eight. I think he's five nine. That's the one that came. You right called to me. my question useless? Are you guys out of your oh, fucking mind? Oh, I agree. Mind? This one's useless too. <laughs> They're both what? fucking useless. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, uh, come what? on, at least keep it to the music. That's horrible. I've taken a few pictures. You can ask. You can ask to me. Every picture we have together, we're sitting down though, so yeah. it's kind of hard for me to tell. I, I know he is like a shorter, like buffier. He's not in the sixes. That's for sure. But he could be that sneaky six foot. And no, if anyone, no, I'm sure about that. The, on his like listed height. You know what I mean? He could be the the NBA like yeah the no, combine. I think I, I, combine he'd be six foot. No, I don't think so. Five nine sounds right to me, but it could be five eight. It also could be six foot. It's not six two unless no, he's not six two. That's in there as like a crazy. <laughs> Whoa, you didn't crazy know Kanye fact, was yeah. six two. But okay, what are you saying? I think we did the five nine. I guess yeah. Okay, let's do five nine. Close enough. It was five eight for no, Kanye no, West. No, yes sir. Bro. Yes sir. Let's go. Oh my god, this guy's so cheesy, yes, bro. Sir. How do you bring in that question? All right, All right. bonus round. Bonus round. Let's go. Actually, it's your guys' spin. Oh, it is my spin. What do we got? True or false? Already happened. Already happened. All right. Monthly listeners, listeners already, already happened. happened. Okay. <laughs> Song titles. Already happened. <sighs> Come on, wheel. Images already happened. Already happened. <laughs> it's going to be tough. <laughs> Images already happened. Little double spin? What the fuck was that? Images already happened. That's crazy odds. This is Three in a yeah. row. True or false? Already fucking <laughs> happened. Jeez, bro. What's going on here? <laughs> Monthly listeners. <laughs> oh, let me go. Spin. Monthly listeners. Sheesh. The great in touch. Lyrics. Lyrics. Okay. Oh, this is going to be the hardest gonna... one. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. Okay. And by the way, after this, we only, I think, have like one or two. We have left. one or two, so we'll just fucking yeah, run them. Yeah, we'll, we'll run those ones, okay? So, All right. guess the song based on the lyrics, three different lyrics, and you're going to have to guess them at the end of it. I want you to read this first lyric for me. All right. Iced out my heart. Or, sorry. Iced out heart on your neck. Tried to froze your ring. I had to get me a new bitch to hold the pain. You can snap if you want. Thank you. Okay. Oh, new bitch to hold snap. the pain. We have to guess the song, not even just like the artist who would say it. Uh, I feel like something Kodak would say. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Let's <laughs> go on to the next. Yeah, on to right. the next one. See? I tied up my wrath. You strapped up your rick. Diamonds on your neck. Ice all on my wrist. Mm. Sounds like a Migos bar. <laughs> I'm picking up on the Migos vibes. What are you saying? I was getting like more of a like a like a future song, maybe. Okay. Can I take a guess or do you have something? Is oh, it... I don't have anything. You go. Ahead. Let's go flooded by Migos. On to the next one. My Louboutin's new, <laughs> so my bottoms they is redder. No, I'm not a rat, but I'm all about my cheddar. Oh, my cheddar. It's Uzi, and it is. Uh, it's the one with with Nikki, or not with Nikki? No, no, no. It's um. Oh, you have it's the singing one. The. No, I'm not a rat, but I'm all about my cheddar. Um, the way life goes. That is the way life oh, goes. My sure. little Ryan Ryan coming in clutch. Go. He is nice. the superstar of this fucking episode, guys. Woo. Give him his credit, Come okay? On. All, right. all right, our lyrics here. Wow, this is make it or break it. Understood. All right. First lyric is, four rounds in, leaving bruises on your thighs. You, the only bitch, could make me spin off on the guys. 
I'm happy that you read that. I'm like, I'm. Yeah. You don't want to be Oof. part of that. No, I'm just that not. Okay. Woo. I can repeat it if you'd like. Yeah, go for it. Okay. It's too dirty. Four rounds in, leaving bruises on your thighs, you the only bitch could make me spin off on the guys. Damn. Special lady being spoken about here. Um. Let's keep going. I think we need more okay. context here. I'll get you everything that you want and you need from Chanel to Celine. It's on you to decide. Oh my goodness. And it's on you to decide. It's like something around there. Something around there. catching a flow right there. That's no, dangerous. Yeah, I don't yeah. like this. Repeat that for me, please. I'll get you everything that you want and you need from Chanel to Celine. It's on you to decide. Chanel. Future loves shopping for his ladies. He doesn't let them decide though. Listen, if he hits them once, they're in his collection, you know? Mm-hmm. So What does that mean? That's something to keep in mind. Um, I have no guesses. I, I, I know where it's going, though. Maybe I'm getting... The last one's the most obvious. obvious Let's go. But, okay. Last one is this. Every time I fuck without a rubber, I nut it on the covers, and I kept it undercover. <laughs> this is actually the hook of the song. That's a little hint for you guys. Dude, I have no idea. Okay, I let's, uh, I, listen, I, I think... You want to just grab the pepper? Is that what you want to do right now? Is it time? I'll give them credit. You have the great guest over here, the genius of the team, Ryan. You got this <laughs> fucking rat over here that's making up a questions rat? about 5'9 hey, all... <laughs> and 5'8 heights. He's all about so, his cheddar, though. You know what I mean? So, um, man. All right. It's your show, Ant. Just guess. Cheers, bro. <laughs> I'm hungry. Why are your hands shaking? Yeah, That's a bit weird. Put it, not, put it back. What's wrong? Hey, just, just give it, give it, give guess. G- give me the guess. Um, I'll do, I'll do. Fucking, I'm not sure, but let's do P Power by Gunna. I don't know, bro. It is not P Power. What is it? It is Mood Swings by Pop Smoke featuring Lil TJ. Massive song, over 500 million streams. <laughs> He's justifying <laughs> that he picked it. He's like, it's gotta yeah. be a good pick. <laughs> it's not a ratty choice, like I would like to say. All right, get the sore loser of him gets the best out of it. Let me get prepared. Enjoy eat the it. meal. Oh, oh, there you go. Eating at home. There you go. Beautiful. You actually left a bit there, bro. You got to finish it home. Clean it off for me. There you go. Nice. All right. So, All right, guys. How do you guys feel? Thoughts on the quiz? <coughs> Good. What are you saying, Ant? <coughs> How's it tasting? Oh, another one for Graydon. Two? <laughs> yeah, I just oh, did a second shit. one. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Oh, so what do you guys? Uh, what are you guys one. up to this weekend? What do you guys say? Right. What are the plans Ooh, for the weekend, guys? Yeah. I'm good, man. These are kind of sweet. Your dad grow these? Yeah, I like these. Good up and up. This, <laughs> this with like a nice little mango, maybe in like a <laughs> scramble or something. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. You, you can just throw these in like one of your frittatas, bro. No, next time. You want to try one? You guys realize I'm going I'm to finish good. these peppers. Yeah, go right? for it. Go for it. Yeah, yeah I mean, go. we got two to go. <laughs> Gotta get at least one. Oh, oh, we're not ending the video until you get one in. Let's go. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And oh. <laughs> two for two. Two back to back. Oh. All right, guys. It's gonna sum up today's video. Thank you so much to the High Mind Boys. High Mind Boys, excuse me, for joining us today. Yeah, awesome rap you. quiz. Pleasure Thanks for playing. having us. We um, love NFR podcast. You, bro. Subscribe. Monster. And any last words for the viewers here? Thank you to the High Mind Boys for coming through today. It was an awesome pleasure. As I said, I think the group dynamic between them works really good. You have like the ratty, scrappy player like Lou with the genius of the team, which is Riley. Thank you. If you are new to NFR Podcast, smash that subscribe button. Can't even talk. I'm salivating. All right. But if you guys are not subscribed to Hivemind, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to their channel. Fantastic content creators. Thank you, guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace, Thanks, guys. Thank you. More peppers, please.